to another episode of the Ravens Craft Arts Interviews Projects. In this episode, I was really excited to have a talk with one of my favorite female vocal artists, Drea Drury. She's also known as Anila. First off, I just want to thank and welcome you to the Ravens Craft Arts Interviews Project. I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down and talk with us about your music and how you create and your inspirations behind it. Yeah, no problem. So the first thing I wanted to ask you about is your name, Anila. Is there a certain meaning to the name and a reason why you chose that as your performing name? Yeah, so my my project name, um, Anila, is... um, it actually has roots in Sanskrit, um, but if you look up the etymology, um, that word shows up in many different ancient languages. And basically, the um, the meaning behind it is the essential, like the energy behind wind or the energy behind breath. Um, but that meaning can also be tied back into kind of the essence of self so the the energy the the spirit body essentially so i i was really attracted to that word when i came across it because i found that it really described a lot of what i'm trying to express through through my music which is essentially just trying to communicate um, a different kind of language to people um, that goes beyond words and it's so it's almost like the energy behind behind the sound, behind breath, um, that, that 
communicates a different type of message <laughs> that goes beyond words. Yeah. 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 So that's another thing that I like to encourage people to do and what a lot of my music is about as well is that just that um, really remembering how important it is to go back to our roots in that regard even if it just means going you know into a city park if that's all that you can do but really just to take that time to to listen in a different way so my next question is about your spiritual practice or following. Do you have a certain spiritual belief that kind of inspires and helps you to create? Yeah, I mean, um, I would say that the, the roots of my spiritual practice, um, it, if I could call it that, I, 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 <laughs> my, um, my relationship to the word spiritual is also um, interesting because I find that a lot of people have maybe um, kind of mixed views of of what that actually means. Um, so for me, it's it's it comes from a place that is very simple and and not necessarily from specific teachings. So I explored growing up. I explored many different things from Druidism, Wicca, Buddhism, Shamanism. Um, paganism, occult. So I I grew up studying all these different things, but the roots of my spiritual practice definitely come from honestly just growing up in a very remote area and spending a lot of time in nature. So really almost being forced to um, look at myself um, in the context of being in nature a lot just alone and and being forced to be in silence a lot <laughs> right yeah i totally mm -hmm. agree with you that's that's what i have to do i like to go on hikes with my family and stuff and you know get away and just connect with nature it's almost like you got to disconnect from everything else to really connect with nature and figure out what's going on you know yeah exactly so my next question is, do you believe that having a spiritual practice or following helps you be more creative and inspire you to push the limits further than you normally would? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I would say that um, a lot of the practices that I have done or do or that, that are part of my daily practice um, it's directly related to my ability to drop in as an artist um, and by that I mean fully drop into a creative space which is as genuine and connected as possible and not influenced by the kind of overarching um, cultural brainwashing that's going on. Right, um, yeah. I've, yeah. I've noticed in cultures too, you know, they would have the the witch or whatever you would want to call it she would often kind of distance herself from the village so she could you know make up her own mind about things without everyone else's input you know yes yeah right <laughs> i i really i do i value that um archetype very much and i think it's important um for artists if uh if they're really feeling that call, um, I would say to try to do that as much as possible. That's why I've chosen not to live in a city as an artist, because I just found that I, I just really wanted to uh, retain that kind of separateness from from the, uh, I guess, the media-influenced culture around us that has so many negative, um, yeah, messages. <laughs> yeah, you, you live on the west coast of... Canada, right? Yeah, yeah. I just recently relocated out here, um, but I'm on a small island two hours outside of Vancouver, so wow. yeah, it's very, very remote. <laughs> I noticed you take a lot of pictures and actually record your music in some amazing places. Can you tell us about some places that you've been or maybe some places that you want to go in the future? Um, yeah, I, I am really, um, I really love mountains, as, as many people know, and because I grew up in the mountains, and I spent a lot of time up in the Alpine, um, uh, and I would say that, that that environment is my favorite because it's so, it, it's just so still and so untouched by 
by humans. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's just the 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 energy, if I can use that word, just the energy is is very um, just palpable and and clear and and yeah, it's 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 very inspiring to me as an artist. So my next question is, do you have any artists or people you look up to that have inspired you that you can tell us about? Um, yeah, well, like I said before, um, my my practice now is a blend of all of these different things that I've explored over the years. But um, currently, I would say um, one of the, the the authors and teachers that I really, really love is Tara Brock. Um, her last name is B-R-A-C-H. And um, she has a lot of meditations and talks online and books as well. And I just find that for people um, just starting out, especially with meditation and uh, mindfulness practice, her teachings are very, very distilled um, in a way that that you can apply in in every situation um, I'm not to be honest right now I'm not really into a lot of teachings that over um, kind of over complicate things right or are very or, or are very um, wordy or or you know intellectual I'm really into um, teachers that are bringing bringing their teachings into ways that are very um, relevant to the problems that we run into on a day-to-day -day basis. So, right. yeah, I would say Tara Brock for sure, um, for people interested in, in just the awareness practices, which I think are the base of, of everything. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I kind of was doing some research too. I noticed you list Alan Watts and people like that. I, I listen to him too. He has some interesting theories and concepts that really make you think. I would say, yeah, Alan Watts is up there. Um, Terrence McKenna is also one of my favorites because he really is one of the spokespeople, or was, sorry, um, on the influence of, of media and, and cultural programming on us as, as uh, beings and our consciousness and, and then going into the plant medicines and yeah I just I just love his stuff a lot. Yeah. So I know you've collaborated and created music with a lot of amazing people around the world including Einar Selvig of Wadruna which is an amazing song by the way. So I just wanted to ask if you had any new projects or albums upcoming this year. Yeah, so in yeah in 2017, um, I will be releasing the next album. Um, Einar won't, well, as of now, Einar will not, will not be on that album, um, but that, that will be the next release from Anila. Um, yeah, so I would say end of, end of 2017, um, you can expect something, yeah. And then I'll also be releasing kind of some pre-release stuff just over the year so people will just get little tasters. Yeah, I saw something called The Call with Mar. That's that's the latest thing I've seen. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that was really awesome to work with her because, um, yeah, she's another amazing um, female uh, producer and I love working with women, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, are there any... Other, I noticed you said you like heavy metal bands as well. Would you ever think about, you know, collaborating with people like Seether, Seven Dust, or something like that? I think kind of a mixture of your your type of music and a little bit of heaviness is, is really cool, and it kind of creates a, a good energy, you know? I'm just wondering if you would ever be open to doing something like that. Oh, yeah, totally. That's um, it, It's definitely on the top of my list to do some kind of, um, yeah, just almost a side project um, that's, Kind of blending some of the music from Anila, but with super heavy, heavy elements, um, almost like a mix of black metal and um, yeah, I don't, and prog, black metal prog. <laughs> um, honestly, my favorite bands in that genre right now are Gojira, um, Mashuga. Um, I'm a, I think Merkur stuff is awesome too, like. The um, I, I also noticed I did some more research that you provide counseling and training and you you work with people and teach you know upcoming artists 
you know, how to become better and create better stuff? Yeah, yeah. So that's something that I'm I'm starting to do now um, with people that are just at a, at a point in their creative process where they're really wanting some kind of guidance. Um, and that could take many forms from helping someone produce their first EP or just um, someone that's coming up against a lot of blocks in their creative process. I help just open that dialogue up and, and give them tips in order to navigate that because it's, um, it's being an artist can be very difficult. It can be a pretty lonely road sometimes. So I just want to offer support for people because I feel like art and, and music is, is um, especially right now with what's going on, is perhaps one of the most important things that we can put our energy into. So I have huge respect for artists of all types. And it's so great with all this technology, but kind of like the opposite of what we're trying to do, you know, we're trying to disconnect from technology. But what do you think about, you know, kind of virtual reality type meditation videos for people who can't get out, they may be sick or disabled? You know, I think that would be maybe the next big thing, you know, creating some content, you know, with sound and visuals and, and stuff like that. Would you ever consider, you know, creating content for that? Oh yeah, totally. Um, I I feel I mean similar to what you just said in that um, we are trying to move away from being almost like addicted to technology. But at the same time, if technology is used in a way that's um, that's a, a tool, like if we can use it as a tool to train our minds and train our consciousness, um, I think that that is a really valuable thing to to enter into and yeah i would be very very interested in um in creating music and, and programs in that in that way for that purpose for sure yeah i i've been approached by some gaming companies um and to be honest a lot of them i'm not interested in because they're doing all these you know war war games and fighting games but mm -hmm. if if a company approached me that was doing more of the more of what you're describing, I would be very interested in in composing music for that. Well, that's kind of an idea that I had to try to make some, you know, ritualistic videos in the wilderness for people who can't get out. So, I'll definitely be in touch about the idea. Will you be open to collaborating sometime in the future on a project like this? I would be open to it for sure um, for me right now it's it's more of a matter of like just how much time I have to do all yeah these things. yeah I know but, um, but yeah I mean that's uh, I'd be very interested for sure because um, like you said there's a lot of people now that you know they're they're pretty um, tied down to being in a city or they're in circumstances that they just can't um, Kind of get out in nature or into a good place so i think that in that way creating virtual realities for for people are it is very beneficial yeah yeah all right well one of the last things i wanted to ask you is do you have anything that you want to say or any words of inspiration to all the people out there that are looking to you know create something or find a new path or you know push it to the next level I think that expression and creativity is is one of the best forms of therapy there is. Um, and in that regard, my advice for people would just be like to like if you're feeling something, if you're feeling some kind of call to express, just do it and, and <laughs> do your own thing. Um, don't be too concerned with with outside opinion and, and just to go with it. Um, in terms of a spiritual practice um, or for people just first getting into their own, designing their own practice, I would say really be aware of false gurus. That would be like my number one thing because there's so many people out there right now um, offering quote unquote spiritual teachings that really don't have the best intentions. Um, I do believe that you're your own ability to still your mind and to really connect in is 
is the place to start from, even more so than reading books. I would say just focus on training your mind and um, yeah, don't let the mind get too too out of control <laughs> because that's where things can go awry. Right. Yeah, yeah. Next thing I wanted to ask you, you know, this interview project that I'm putting together, do you think it's a good thing and kind of what, what made you want to do this? Yeah, I think it's a really, really good thing to just open up this conversation, um, especially talking to people with different backgrounds. Um, I think it's a really good idea for for people just to hear what's out there and um yeah, I think it's just a, a conversation that we need to be having right now, um, and especially conversations around um, just opening our consciousness to these different ways of being, because like I said before, I think right now, especially with what's going on in the world, it's it's really necessary for us to, to have these, these discussions, yeah. I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I just wanted to let you know that you know you're a very special inspiration to me and a lot of other people and you know a lot of big time creators I mean a lot of times they don't hear someone just you know encourage them to keep doing what they're doing and I just wanted to do that personally encourage you to you know keep continuing and doing what you're doing because you are inspiring people and it's helping and you know you're you're opening up interests and you're doing good things. Thank you. Yeah, that means a lot to hear. Yeah, it's it's been a it's been a long journey for me um, with honestly a lot of resistance on many um, on many levels. So I just it, to be where I am now and to be able to share my music is one of the biggest gifts for me. Um, I feel very honored to to keep on sharing, and I I, I love to just support other artists to to keep going no matter what like it's it's really worth it regardless of what comes from it it's even if you touch one person with your art that makes it worth it so yeah i just wanted to thank you again for sitting down and talking with us i'm sure this will make a great interview i'll make a little music video at the beginning if that's okay with you and hopefully we can talk about collaborating or creating something more in the future yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, and feel free to use my music. That's that's totally fine with me. So, yeah, thanks for thanks for doing this. All right, awesome. Thank you. Um, I'll keep in touch. I look forward to seeing your work, and I hope you have a good day. Take care of yourself, and we look forward to seeing your new work. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. All right. Bye. Bye. Last of all, I just want to thank all the viewers and supporters out there. We have really turned this project into something great. We are going to continue building and creating some great things for you all to see. So I thank you all again for all the support. And like I always say, stay on the positive path.